So here is my Aldi haul. And let's see where I want to start. I'm going to start over in this area right over here. Over here I have um, some dill spear pickles. I have the dill pickle chips. Those like are the for sandwiches. I have some pepperoncini, whole pepperoncini. There. Applesauce. I have another one of these somewhere around here. Picked up some honey. Grape jelly. Some medium salsa. I have onions. I have yellow and red onions. I love to cook with yellow onions. I love cooking with the yellow and red. But I like the yellow more so to cook. And the red I love for like our salads and sandwiches and other little stuff like that. Um, some Roma tomatoes. I think they were like 90 cent, 99 cent or something. They were on sale today. So I was happy to get those on sale. I got some pie crust. I got two packs and what I've been just you putting these in the freezer and whenever I want to make a pot pie or something, I have them on hand. Picked up some more grits. I picked up two packs. I was out of that. While I'm over here by this chair, I picked up um, a bag of potatoes. <clears throat> some original Aunt Maple syrup. Bananas. I got two packs of bananas. They didn't have any um ripe but shoot back tomorrow they'll be ripe anyway and my bananas i like love to allow them to get really brown i peel them and <clears throat> freeze them and i use those for smoothies so whenever they go bad as we call them i put them up in the freezer um i have some corn taco shells some flour then i have some large ones to make some burritos with i think we're gonna have taco today and you know they could pick whichever they like um i got a pineapple i um, don't want to i got one pineapple i got some heavy whipping cream for alfredo sauce then i got some sour cream and cottage cheese i read that dogs can eat cottage cheese so i want to see if my dog likes the cottage cheese um Cabbage, some broccoli, frozen broccoli, and I usually use this for my dog because it's easier to cook. Um, <clears throat> picked up one chocolate frosting, rich and creamy, and then I picked up the cream cheese. So the kids want to make cupcakes. They got some easy. They could throw it together. I just have to supervise my youngest, my oldest. He can make it himself. Um, I got some more of these noodles. I think you saw this in my... Costco haul when I share it with you my Sunday dinner and these are these are crinkle cut ribbon noodles the other ones aren't crinkle cut they were good so I picked up another bag of those um some jasmine rice <clears throat> picked up these um pastas here got two bags thought they'd be great for my daughter pasta when I make her some some travel pasta and zoo pasta with the different I think these were like a dollar and ninety nine cents. Um, some rigatoni, these pasta, and I want to make a salad with this. That's why I picked that up. Some regular spaghetti. I got some yogurt here. And it's a three six nine twelve containers of yogurt. Some elbow macaroni. Pretty much. I'm all out of my brain. Um, some penne pasta. Um, here is some cheddar herb biscuits. I got two boxes of these. I want to try them. We use the <clears throat> red lobster one. So I just wanted to give those a try. And here are the um, cake mixes. The classic extra white devil's food. Like I said, the kids want to make some cupcakes. They can do that. Two packs of wheat bread. Um, Thousand Island salad dressing, ranch salad dressing. Then I have some goldfish, just a little snack for the children. Then here are some, I don't think I've ever seen these at Aldi, or I may have, I'm not quite sure. But they have the popcorn and the butter. These are the cheese and these are the butter. And these are the ones I get for my daughter because when she's popcorn, she um, tends to cough a lot. I think because of the holes, I don't know. But when she eats this, she doesn't cough, so I get those for her. Now let me get to my meat. 
and then I'll work my way to the other side. I got two packs of pork chops and we don't eat pork very often, but sometimes I get tired of fish and chicken. So I do like to mix it up with some, you know, pork and beef here and there. I got six packs of turkey, um, ground turkey. And I'm going to use two packs for dinner today for taco. And then I always like to have some on reserve because you never know what you're going to make. I don't like the tube of turkey. I just, um, I used to, I used to eat tubes of turkey all the time, all the time. The turkey that was in the tube. And I bought these, I started buying these from Walmart, which these are from Aldi, but I had started buying them from Walmart. When I went back to get the tube, I could totally taste the difference. So that's why I stopped getting the tube turkey and I get these. <clears throat> Got two bags of chicken tenderloins. Two packs of sweet Italian turkey. I got what this two, three bags of drumsticks. And some of their meat was on sale like 70 cent and 40 um, cent off. So I was excited to get that. Pretty much the stuff I always get, but I was just happy to see a sale because I never see a sale on the meat. And Aldi, I know Ty from his and her money, she's always finding great deals on their meat. I never see it at my store. I got a pack, a bag, a pack of corned beef, and their corned beef has been so expensive. I really need to search out some deals on corned beef and just have some in the freezer for whenever I want it. We maybe have corned beef every three months or so. Picked up this was two dollars, thought um two dollars off. So got this um, lean ground beef, and I don't buy ground beef, but I thought it'd be good to add to something, some sandwiches or something. Got these baby back pork ribs. Okay, I said that. Um, I got one, two, three bags of chicken thighs. Um, one, two, three bags of chicken leg quarters. And let me get to the other side here. Um, I got three bags of tilapia. I think they were on sale too. Um, two packs of jumbo raw shrimp. One, two, three packs of pink salmon um, I prefer the frozen meat I um, I just do to me it's a little bit more reasonable for us being that I kind of stock up at one while I was getting a lot of the fresh meat at Costco and I just stopped you know it's like cut down on the budget but I mean I go with the frozen I know some people don't like it but you know we all have our preferences I picked up two cans of pineapple slices two jars of olives Two cans of fruit cocktail just for, for a snack for the kids. Um, two cans of pink salmon. Usually since what this salmon is like $2.99. And what I usually do when I go to um, do like a, a large haul at Aldi. I'll pick up like a can or two here and there. So I'll just have them on stash whenever I want to make some salmon croquettes. I'll always have them. And I don't make salmon croquettes often for breakfast. Maybe once a month, every couple months. So I just like having it on hand. I got six cans of tuna, and that's, those are tuna and water. I got one um, a container of this, what is this, 30 ounces, so um, one pound. I got the deluxe whole cashews in there with sea salt. I think they were like $11.99. Um, oh, here, we do this. I got... Some ricotta cheese. I love having that on hand for lasagna whenever I make some kind of pasta dish. I don't usually have it. And if I don't have it, I don't use it. I won't go buy it. I'll use what I have. Um, I got two boxes of this green tea, original green tea. My husband loves sweet tea, so he said to um, make him some green tea. So I'll make him some, you know, um, use green tea instead of regular tea for his sweet tea. Two avocados. I got one ripe and one not ripe, so it'll give us time to use it. I got some fresh green beans. I cannot wait for gardening season, y'all. Oh, um, I got some asparagus, cilantro, mushrooms, some zucchini, unsalted butter. Did I say kiwi? I have some seedless cucumbers. I don't know if I said that. Um... And over here, I have a gallon of milk. Got some coconut milk. I want to try some coconut milk with my smoothies. And taco season. 
you know, you could grab their boxes if they're empty. I want to, um, like, upcycle this, decorate it, and use all my, put all my packets of seasoning in here. So that's why I grabbed this um, at uh, Aldi. And then I got a box of oodle noodles. They're always come in handy when my daughter doesn't know what she and wants. And lastly, uh, mom won four jars of spaghetti sauce, and then here's the other um, applesauce. So I think that is it, you guys. That is my haul. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put all my grocery up and I'm going to share with you what everything looks like after it has been put up. I know when we get these large hauls, it's kind of hard. Well, I have a hard time, you know, with spacing, but I try to put it up the best way I can and neatly. So I just want to share with you how I put it up. And, you know, you can see, give you any ideas if you need some ideas on storing your food. Okay, so, so anything that I had that were in boxes, I did put in these um, mason jars. Like the noodles, I do have to change the chalk, the sign on there. Um, I'll be back Hobby Lobby tomorrow. So hopefully I can pick up some more chalk markers. I need white. But the penne noodles were in there. I originally had chickpeas in there. Uh, what else? Macaroni. I put in that jar. And what else did I put over here? Oh, okay. These noodles... I put in this container here. This used to be a um, cereal container. I had grits are in there. Onions I have in this basket here. Potatoes I put up in there. Oh, some more noodles I got right there. This is the fridge. Um, and I kind of do have it in categories like I have drinks here. I need to wipe this off and put new labels, but I'm cool with it. I can see what it is. Have a little leftover here and other, yeah, some leftovers back up in there from like the day before yesterday. We had tacos yesterday, so that's the meat we have left from that. Um, some cheeses and meats are in here. I have like my taco shells here and like um, when I make salads, just the little extras here. I made all my husband's sandwiches for this week. So these are here. Just grab them out in the morning. And the vegetables are here. And there, Caesar. I did a little cleaning out um, here, like packaged meat. I have like uh, the pork chops and stuff in there. Um, sausage, I have in this little, just a Dollar Tree um, tote. I have bread here. Some um, frozen vegetables are in here. So that's what's in the freezer. These cabinets down here hold all my canned goods and all that stuff, which I don't get a lot of canned good things. Thankfully, I don't have to, you know, like have a lot of space for it. Um, this is an area that I do have to finish, um, paint the insides of these cabinets and put contact paper down on all the bottom cabinets. Down up in here, I have, you know, like things, anything dealing with bacon, but just wanted to share with you how I store my bacon goods that I purchased are all in here. And then I have some breakfast items on this side, like the syrup, oatmeal, uh, pancake mix, and things like that. Some are in containers, and some aren't. I need to probably sign. Well, I do have an oatmeal and a smaller thing back there. Maybe need to find a larger. Well, I have that. I might use that um, what's, uh, canister I got from... Walmart, like the Better Homes and Gardens, and maybe the rest of that will fit in there for now. Put that in there. I usually have the kids cereal in there, but I'm thinking about moving where I have cereal. We don't have cereal like a whole lot, but I think I'm going to place it somewhere else since I have like the hot breakfast food items. Was there. my Aldi grocery haul and just um, how I put up, stored away some items. Alrighty, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching. This is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com. Bye-bye.